Let's see who we have here. So what we do um, is we put a hood on the bird. This keeps them calm during the banding. Uh, many times they'll actually fall asleep and, and start snoring. So it, without um, being able to see what's going on, they're much more calm and relaxed. I believe the one that Stephanie has here is the younger one. Um, it's smaller because of uh, one, it hatched second, but also uh, there was some pretty good sibling rivalry during the first couple weeks in the nest, so the, the bird in the other bag is the one that got more of the food and therefore grew quicker. So when you're handling the eagles, the most dangerous part is their feet. So we get control of those first. And even though they can't see, their beaks can be dangerous. They'll reach up with those and bite at whatever they can get. So um, we try to sit with them away from the handler so that we can be as safe as possible. start. So the first thing we do is take some basic body measurements. Um, one of the main ones is actually the beak depth. Thirty two point three millimeters. Generally at this age if the beak depth is over thirty two millimeters they tend to be females. Uh, this is thirty two point three so we're gonna Band this one as a, a female. Let's do that one as a male. It's, it's, of course, these measurements are never exact. Okay, the beak length is 46.85. Take a few measurements on the feet and legs. I'll grab this one. Okay. Um, we measure the length of the halix talon, which is the back talon. Thirty-four point two. I need to do measurement. Then we do a couple measurements on the legs. Tarsus, 16.57. Yeah. Frontal, 16.16. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first step after taking measurements is banding. They each get a federal leg band with a unique number on it, which is reported to the bird banding lab. And then if this bird is ever found anywhere, they can report it to the bird banding lab, and we eventually find out where it was found. Hopefully alive, but sometimes not. Because the eagles are very strong with their beaks, the, uh, the band actually has to go on with a pop rivet so they can't open it up and lose it. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I guess we'll try the blood. You want to wait? I'll wait till you get that one on. So, 
a little bit more about the project while well, Stephanie's putting the band on that one. We currently have approximately 30 to 40 eagles living on the northern Channel Islands, including the, the chicks in the nests. Um, we have three active nests on Santa Cruz Island, two active nests on Santa Rosa Island. Those on Santa Rosa are actually the first ones to hatch in probably 60 years out on Santa Rosa Island. So this is turning out to be a very good year for the eagles on the northern islands. Um, hasn't been too good the last couple years. Uh, last year, this pair here uh, hatched two chicks, but they both died at about three days of age from unknown causes. Uh, the previous year, they had two chicks that were knocked out of the nest at about seven weeks of age um, by another younger bald eagle. And then they've had uh, two other chicks, one of which is still alive and on the uh, western portion of Santa Cruz Island.